Well, hello there, ladies and gents. I'm Tammy Sipniewski, and you are watching Clear Cryptos. And you know, this is not really a video that I want to make, but I think it's important to have a little bit of historical perspective. And this is what I'm talking about. Of course, Bitcoin has dropped way down. It's below $20,000, $19,919. The last time I look, I don't have my glasses on now. And here we are. So let's say you're someone that started to buy into Bitcoin at some of the all-time highs, and now you're seeing it below $20,000, and you're starting to freak out and wondering, oh my gosh, maybe I should just sell and get out of this cryptocurrency game because I'm losing. I'm losing in this crypto game. Let me give you a little bit of historical perspective. Bitcoin has dropped 90% of its value two other times in history. Okay, this is nothing new. We've all been here before. And each time it comes raging back to make new all time highs. Now, that doesn't happen overnight, but it does happen. So you have some options here. Let's say you're one of those people who bought in last year at 50,000 and 60,000. You should always plan on volatility in the market, regardless of if it's cryptocurrency or if it's the stock market. Whenever you're looking at the chart of your asset, it's never just a straight line. It's always up and down and up and down. The price it is today is not going to be the price it is tomorrow. So you should always keep that in mind whenever you're making an investment. What do you do here? Let's let's take a peek at this chart again. This is the one-day chart for Bitcoin. Let me back it up to show you the whole entire chart of Bitcoin. Now, this is 2017 and the all-time highs in December of 2017, it was hitting like over 17,000. So we're very close to the area of where Bitcoin was back in 2017. Now, if you just got into Bitcoin last year or the year before, and you're thinking, oh, those people who were into cryptocurrency so many years ago, they were so early, they were so lucky. Congratulations. That's you now. This is your opportunity to get into some really great cryptocurrencies at some really, really reduced prices, significantly reduced prices. And then, of course, we go marching through 2018, 2019, and the price was way, way down. Look, look where it is here in the $3,000 range in 2019. Went way, way down. And then, of course, we had the boom of 2020. And 2020, you know, we saw a lot going on in the world, in the country, when you know what happened. I don't know if I'm allowed to say it on the video, but uh, it, sh it shifted a lot in the country. People stayed home from work. And instead of going to the office every day, they had an opportunity to watch a little more TV, take in a little more YouTube, be on Twitter and Facebook a little more, and people started to find out about cryptocurrency. A lot more people got involved in cryptocurrency in that time frame, and that's one of the reasons why it went so high. So now why is the market coming down now? There's people that are getting liquidated for their Bitcoins. People are selling their Bitcoins. Because we're in a different financial position than we were a few years ago. We have to keep that in mind. But I want you to keep this in mind. Wealthy people never sell when the markets are down. This is how wealthy people stay wealthy and become wealthier. When the markets are down this low, they view this as an opportunity hey, look, look at this reduced price. I'm going to buy even more of this. I'm going to bring down my average and I'm going to win from here. It's only going to go back up. You have a couple of options. W what are you going to do? Are you going to behave like they behave and add to your position and get in at this reduced price? Or are you just going to hold and say, I'm not going to put any more money into this, but I'm not selling. I'm just going to hold here and I'm going to wait and see. Or are you going to sell? Are you going to paper hand your way out of this and say, I, I can't sustain any more losses. I have to cut my losses here and just be done with it and sell. If you sell at these reduced prices, you're losing. It's a loss. The moment that you hit sell and your sell order is officially done, 
you've lost. You've there's no coming back from that. It's a loss. At least if you hold, let's say even if you don't want to put any more money into it, you don't want to DCA any more into Bitcoin, you're just going to hold it. That's not a loss because once the market starts to recover, your investment goes up with the market. But if you sell, that's definitely a loss. So those are your three options, okay? Your option, hold, add more to your position or sell. And I I have a lot of different investments in cryptocurrency and of course the stock market. I'm not selling anything here. There's nothing for me to win here by selling at these reduced prices. This is an opportunity to buy buy more or buy into things that I hadn't previously bought into because maybe I thought the prices were a little too high. This is a great time to enter into some of those other tokens that maybe you didn't want to get into because they were too high. Maybe you thought Solana was a little overpriced at 60. Solana's looking pretty good 30, right? So this, this is the reason why I'm making this video. The market always goes up and down. The people who hold at this area and buy more, they're always the winners, always the winners. And no matter where you are in your investment, you're probably way better off than poor Michael Saylor. So Michael Saylor, notoriously the CEO of MicroStrategy, actually he stepped down from being CEO a few weeks ago, but his company, MicroStrategy, was the biggest holder of Bitcoin. People wrongly think that it's Elon Musk that has the most Bitcoin. It's actually MicroStrategy. Michael Saylor. And at the all-time highs of Bitcoin, when Bitcoin was in the fifty dollars and $60,000 area, Michael Saylor leveraged his existing Bitcoin to borrow more money to buy more Bitcoin at that higher, higher price. And if Michael Saylor is not breaking a sweat, and right now I think he's down about a billion dollars if that guy is not breaking a sweat, if he's saying I'm bullish on Bitcoin, you know, these reduced prices are great, I'm all in here, then you should be feeling pretty confident about where the future is for Bitcoin because it always comes back. Michael Saylor knows it. I know it. And if you've never been through it, you'll go through it now. If you hold your investment and watch it go up, who knows, five years from now, this, this could happen again. You know, Bitcoin could drop another 90% and you'll be like, you know what? I went through this before. This is a great time to buy more Bitcoin. But in case you've not been through this before, it's important to have that historical perspective just to, you know, kind of calm you down a little bit. Because unless you've been through this blood red a bloodbath here with either stocks or cryptocurrency, you could be getting nervous. And I just want you to know, just take a breath don't start selling things. I want you to think it through. No, obviously, if you have to choose between cryptocurrency or homelessness and food, yeah, well, that's that's a different situation. And this is why we always tell people you should never invest money that you can't afford to lose. Because it. let's say you had to sell at this point. You know, when it goes back up significantly, that's always going to be in the back of your mind. Oh my gosh, I could have had that. I had that. I held that and I sold it when it was so low. What? Don't live with those regrets. Only invest in money that you don't need. You don't need it to pay your bills. You don't need it to put gas in your gas tank. It's money that's, I don't even want to say gambling with because, you know, for me, I never consider Bitcoin a gamble. Other tokens, on the other hand, you know, those small cap tokens, like 99% of them are not going to be around in a few years. It's those tokens that we call blue chip tokens, like Bitcoin, like Ethereum, like Matic, like Crypto.com. These kinds of tokens have that staying power. Cardano, we, we know that it's a solid investment and it's only going to go up from here. Of course, this is not financial advice, but... Uh, other tokens, I could see you being a little iffy on. But from here, I think the future for Bitcoin is only bright if you have the opportunity to bring down the average of the investment that you bought into. This is a great opportunity to do it. Now, I know it's you know a white knuckle moment for everybody when the market gets this red. 
but I have confidence that it's going to come raging back like it always does. Like I said, it's cyclical. Nothing's ever a straight line. It's always up and down and up and down. Well, that's going to do it here for me today. I hope this little pep talk helped you out. And in case you have a significant other that's like, listen, we need money. I want you to sell that cryptocurrency. We don't need it right now. Have them watch this video. Maybe it'll help give them a little bit of perspective and help them understand that this is a good investment and it can help you in the long run. Well, that's going to do it here for me today. And I will catch you next time. Please take care.